Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joe and uh, in case you don't know me, I am an English instructor at a university in Canada and that's where I am right now. I'm uh, in my home. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning and I'm going to do a live lesson a live lesson for whoever shows up. I think some people are going to start coming. And I'm going to introduce myself in the chat too. All right, there we go. Hey, Gerald. Hey, Alex from the Ukraine. Uh, we got a couple of people already. And I just wrote in, hi, my name is Joe and I'm from Canada. So other people can introduce themselves, perhaps. Hello, Vladimir. Hamdi, welcome. Afsane, Lolly is here from France. Marnia is here. Pa uh, Pavlina is here. Wow. Jose, good morning. Rose is here from Algeria. Good to see you. Elise, I got my snacks. <laughs> That's good, Elise. It's good to, you know, get your snacks. <laughs> it's a good afternoon uh, break we can do here. All right. Faranak is here from Iran. And Gerald, you were the first one here. That's great. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, my day, I got up a couple hours ago and did some preparations. But is everybody having fun? Everybody having a relaxing afternoon? I don't know, or if you're from, uh, if you're all the way over in the other side of the world, it'll be evening now. Okay. It's good to see everybody. What are we going to do now? Well, uh, as always, I've prepared some, uh, some sentences with some vocabulary to talk about. We got some, I have some grammar things. I have some possible fun trivia thing we can talk about and uh, we can ask questions and do some surveys uh, I'm having a good day so far that's great I got my snacks with my vodka I'm ready for a new live lesson okay Hamdi all right he's ready I can't wait to start this lesson uh, oh that's right I like the enthusiasm all right May other people are probably going to show up there's Jasek so we can just get started, everybody. Okay. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. But, oh, hopefully, hopefully if I sneeze, I can uh, turn the microwave off so I don't, I don't uh, sound too terrible. So the words we're going to talk about today is about chores and housework. Okay. Cleaning up around the house, this, this vocabulary. We'll see if you can get these ones. Uh, Mercedes is here. Uh, Jose, it is nine. What time is it now? Nine nine oh four here in Canada, my part of Canada. Sihun is here from Iran. Tamil is from India. Great. And Lolly says she hates chores. <laughs> uh, and you're not going to have to do any chores during the lesson. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about them so you'll know the words. So. The right words you can yell at the chores. Jose is here. Yeah, it's 335 where you are. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to read a sentence and leave a blank. And then you guys try and guess the word that goes in the blank. Okay. It's uh, 304 and Vladimir. Hello, Gungor. All right, here we go. So here's the first one. I think you'll get it. This is a verb and it starts with W. Hi, Tamil. After dinner, we have to mm the dishes. After dinner, we have to mm the dishes. Hi, Demira. Elise has got, yes, Rose. All right, Hamdi, so not washing. We have to wash. Gerald, have to wash. All right, let me write that down. After dinner, 
we have to wash the dishes. Okay, and Alex, you are right. You can also say do the dishes. All right, so whenever we have a to, usually it's the infinitive. We have to wash the dishes. Okay, so you could say wash the dishes or do the dishes. All right, excellent. All right. Um, next one. This is this is a noun, and it starts with L. We do mm every day because we need clean clothes. We do mm every day because we need clean clothes. That's why I don't eat. Okay. Laundry, laundry, laundry. Yes, we do laundry. Yes, everybody's getting that one. That's that's fantastic. All right, we're doing great. So those those two were coming out two main words. Now we'll get into maybe some stuff that's going to be a little harder. Okay, so uh, maybe we'll learn stuff. Okay, here's number three. Let me mark, make sure which one I'm on. Number three. This is a noun, and it starts with a B. B. I need a mm to sweep up this mess. I need a mm to sweep up this mess. What do you think? Hi, Zohe. Joanna, yes, you got it. Abhith, yes. Well, Marnia, a brush, we wouldn't say brush. Usually we say broom. Yeah. Okay, and I know I know sometimes it's just a little brush, a little hand thing that you do very very short, uh but most of the time in English when we think about sweeping, we think about a big long handled broom. Okay? I need a broom to sweep up this mess. All right. All right. Next. All right. Next, this is number four. Here we go. This is a verb that starts with H. What chore do you m mm doing when you get home? What chore do you m mm doing when you get home? Yeah, a broom is a long handled thing that's for sweeping. Yeah, Rose has got it. Marna has got it. Hate. So why sweep up? So because you're going to, Lolly, you clean up the mess. You get it off the floor. Yeah. No, we needed a verb, Gungor. So, what? yeah, so everybody, what? Hate, yeah. What chore do you Yeah, so that was, here is the sentence. Hi, Sachin. <laughs> All right, what chore do you hate doing when you get home? So we needed a verb there, hate. Oh, fair enough. Chore is any kind of housework. So uh, washing the dishes is a chore. Uh, doing the laundry is a chore. Uh, sweeping the floor is a chore. Doing little jobs, little work around the house. Keep your house clean. That's chore. Okay. So now let's do a little survey. What? So answer that question. What chore do you hate when you get home? Everybody try to write in. What chore do you hate when you get home? Who's going to tell me? Tell me, which one is the one? Oh, I really hate doing that. I really hate that one. Hoover, so vacuuming. Yeah. Cleaning the floor, cleaning your room, arranging my books. At least you like them all. Okay. Lolly doesn't like washing the dishes. 
take so we would Simon we'd say to take out the trash hi Simon washing the dishes washing the floor washing the dishes washing the dishes. a lot of people hi Sabina nice to see you <laughs> cleaning the kitchen doing laundry hi Rohan yeah is there anyone that I hate um hmm I, I, I don't like I don't like doing chores but I don't know if I hate them um, but it's just hard once I start doing it and you see your house get cleaner I like it you like all chores in my house I like to be clean Hamdi that's good I think everybody likes to be clean it's just they don't like doing it hi Outlander you don't like cooking okay Jose doesn't like cooking clearing the table <laughs> Mercedes doesn't like cooking just likes eating. Ah. I don't like almost everything except making a fire in the fireplace. Oh, okay, yeah. Lolly loves cooking. Hi, Shanga. Nice to see ya. All right, let's go on to our next one. Okay. All right, so this next one is a noun, and it starts with the letter M. Here we go. Would you rather have a new dishwasher or a washing mm? Would you rather have a new dishwasher or a washing mm? What do you think? What word goes in there? Joanna, yes. Rose, yes. Pavlina, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, washing machine, washing machine. Yeah, so those are two very helpful appliances in your house. All right. Okay, so which one do you think is more helpful? A dishwasher or a washing machine? Let's do a little, let's do another survey. Which one do you think is a more helpful appliance? The dishwasher or the washing machine? Which one do you think? Dishwasher, both of them. Washing machine, definitely. Washing machine for sure. Washing machine, washing machine. I think they're both useful, but in my mind, I would go with washing machine because dishes, we have a dishwasher, but I can wash the dishes myself. Put them in the sink, put in water, some, some, uh, some cleaner. I can wash the dishes, but my clothes that would be really a hassle <laughs> to wash all our clothes yeah all right okay let's keep going okay I like my husband <laughs> all right okay <laughs> yes all right here is here's another sentence the, the answer for this one starts with the letter M and and it's a well, it's actually a job, okay? Vladimir Broom, okay, yep. Here we go. Our neighbors are rich, so they have a mm to clean their house. Our neighbors are rich, so they have a mm to clean their house. Marnia has got it. Yeah, Hamdi. Outlander, Abhis, yeah, Joanna, Rohan, Gungor, very good, Rose, yeah, everybody's getting it made, 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 yeah, that's the job, yeah, Sabina, wonderful, yeah, you guys got that one, that was pretty easy, okay, okay, all right, here's another chore, this is number seven, what does mean made, so a maid is someone you hire, to clean your house okay a servant a person you hire she come usually it's a woman comes to your house and she cleans she does the cleaning okay so rich people can have maids I, I don't think poor people usually have yeah a cleaner lady well that's what they are but the word we use native speakers use maid yeah Okay, so here's another one. This is a uh, 
usually this this well here it is an adjective in this sentence okay all right this is an adjective and it starts with the letter G here we go how often do you have to go mm shopping how often do you have to go mm shopping what word goes in there? It's an adjective that starts with a G. Abhith, yes, good job. Lolly's got it. Marna's got it. Hamdi, yeah. Joanna, Gungor, Pavlina, yes. Mercedes, Rohan, yeah, grocery shopping, grocery shopping. Yeah, uh, where my house is here in my city, we are just uh, like a two minute walk from the grocery store. It's really very convenient. We can go there anytime. It's it's super easy for us. We're, we're, we're very, very lucky. All right, yeah, grocery shopping. All right, let's do a little survey about this. Answer this question. How often do you go grocery shopping? Do you go once a week, twice a week, once every two weeks, every day? Oh, Farnock, we call them, they bring it to you. Very nice. That's pretty good. Marna goes once a week. Yeah. Elise, every day you get fresh stuff. Okay. Gungor, once a week, every day, Mercedes. Yeah. How often do other people go? That'd be it. Once, so you don't say once in a month, Abhith, you'd say once a month. Pavlina, three times a week, several times a week. We go one time a week, Hamdi, one time a week, or once a week. Yeah, Alex, right, once a week. Twice a week, Ina. All right, when I need something in my house. Yeah, you go when you need something. All right, Abhith, once a month, yeah, once a month. Okay, all right. That's another chore. All right, here we go. Hamdi is once a week. Once a week. All right. Different people. Ah, Mercedes, that's a question. A lot of people ask me that question. Should we pronounce the T in often? It doesn't matter. All right. Some people say often. Other people say often. I think I say both. It doesn't matter. All right. If you meet a teacher who says it's, it really matters, just smile and say, OK, thank you, because that teacher's crazy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't. How often? How often? Same, same. Doesn't matter. OK. Yes. And Sabina, you have to go often. OK. <laughs> All right. Here's our next one. This is a verb. And remember earlier what I said about the word to. To we use the infinitive. So no ing's here. I, okay? Be careful. This is a verb and it starts with C. She has to mm up her bedroom. She has to mm up her bedroom. What do you think goes in there? Oh, hi, Saki. Yes, clean, clean, clean. Yes. Yes, yes. Looks like everybody. Oh, oh. Clean. Saki, remember, you, uh, you, she has to clean. To clean, not cleaning. Yeah, she has to clean up her bedroom. All right. Okay, let's do uh, let's do another interesting survey. I think this will be fine. I just thought of this idea. All right, think of your bedroom or your house, your apartment, okay, on a scale of zero to a hundred. A hundred means your house is perfectly clean, super clean, like a hospital, super clean. Zero means it's super dirty, zero percent. So what's your score? <laughs> what would you say your house's score is? How clean is your house? For example, I would say our house, two kids, and we're both really busy. 
I'd say our house is about a uh, 75. Okay. All right, 80. Now, Sabine is 90. Can I say my score is... Of course you can say your score is 90, Hamdi. Boy, you guys are all tidier than us. Alex, tidy up, clean up, same, same. Pick up. Yes, Siphon, that's good. Somewhere in the middle, Marnia. Mercedes, 70. Zero percent, Lolly. Too many beer bottles, Lolly. <laughs> Embarrassing. All right. You know, Outlander, you can lie. We don't know your home. I can't see your house. <laughs> 99% Alex fantastic 80 that's better on Saturday's 100 on Wednesday it's 40 <laughs> I hear you I hear you Pavlina 85% I have a dog 75% yes yes <laughs> yeah so we have a range yeah I think everybody wants their house to be 80 or 90 or higher but if you have a dog if you have kids if you're really busy and you're also a cleaning freak yes it was a joke 80 percent yes i know lolly of course you see you seem like a very clean person it it means what you mean to be clean yes that's true what what's clean mean zohar is a hundred percent excellent super clean all right, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. I'm going to have a little drink first, everybody. Oh, boy, did you hear me drinking? <laughs> it's only water. Remember me, I'm a water guy. So here's our next question. All right, this is... Uh, <laughs> profile pic is clean. All right, <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. So this is a noun, and it starts with the letter D. Here we go. My kids never put their mm in the dishwasher. My kids never put their mm in the dishwasher. Oh, hello. Hello, Mentor. Yeah, dishes. French fries, dishes. So no, we do, not just not just one plate. We wanted dishes, dishes, dishes. Yes, and not just one. We wanted dishes, right? My kids, they don't share one plate or one dish. So my kids, my dishes. Right, my dishes. You could say dirty dishes. All right, very good, very good. Okay, now this one, I don't know if you're going to know this one or not. This one could be a little harder. Okay, here we go. This is a noun, and it starts with the letter A. Here we go. I used to get an mm of $5 a week when I was a kid. I used to get an mm of $5 a week when I was a kid. Do you guys know this word? We're going to see. We're going to see. Oh, we're waiting. The first letter is A. The first three letters are A-L-L. Amount, no, not amount. Oh, I think I think we got a new word here, everybody. That's good. Oh, Lolly's got it. Yes. You know, Saki, that's close, but Lolly is right. So I'll write it in here. Allow, yeah, allowance, allowance. Some of you are getting it. That's good. I. Yes, I used to get an allowance of $5 a week when I was a kid. So an allowance, that's your mom and dad. They pay you a little bit of money to do lots of chores. So I used to cut the grass, and I used to clean up the house, and I used to take out garbage, 
Uh, in the winter, I would shovel snow. Okay, whatever, whatever they wanted me to do, and they paid me five dollars an allowance. Yes, Abhith, just just some pocket money for a kid. Just some pocket money for a kid. All right. Okay. All right. So some of you knew that. Maybe others. You get a new word. That's good. We're winning. Okay. Let's go on to number eleven. Okay. Oh, hi, Annabelle. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> in a week or a week. If you say in a week, okay, that means you're talking about the future, like in two hours. Okay, Gungor. So this is Sunday, uh, the the sixth. Next Sunday is uh, is a holiday here in Canada. It's Thanksgiving weekend, so we are having an, a holiday in a week. So a week means how long? So I got paid five dollars a week, means each week. Okay, a week means each week. In a week means seven days from now. Hi, Rula. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Good, uh, Gungor, that's a great question. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. This is a noun, and it starts with an R. Here we go. We have to remember to take out the trash and mm on garbage day. We have to remember to take out the trash and mm on garbage day. No, no. No, so yeah, I think you're thinking of rubbish. And that equals trash. And that equals garbage. So they're all the same. Rubbish, trash, garbage, all the same. So I don't mean that. No, no. Remnants, no. Okay. Well, we have to remember to take out the Yeah, so the sentence I said was, we have to remember to take out the trash and mm on garbage day. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show it to you. We have to remember to take out the trash and recycling on garbage day. Okay, you're recycling on garbage day. The rake? No, a rake is just a tool for cleaning up. Uh, so the recycling the recycling bin, yeah, or the recycling just means whatever's in. You have bottles or paper. Okay? So we wanted recycling. Okay. All right, all right. Here we go. Meet you in school or at school? See you in school. See you at school. Uh, could be both, in school or at school. Both are possible. Okay, here we go. All right, this is uh, the next one, number 12. This is a verb, and it starts with the letter V. V. Okay? Do you listen to music while you mm the carpet? Do you listen to music while you mm the carpet? What verb? Chore. Rose has got it. Yes. So remember, Elise, while you vacuum. If you if you're gonna say vacuuming, it'd have to be while you while you are vacuuming. But I didn't say are. While you vacuum. Okay, so well, you and I'll type that in.
So there, while you vacuum, while you are vacuuming, okay? So remember, the simple present tense and the present continuous, a little bit different. So you got to think of the right word and think of the right grammar. Can you reply your sentence again? Reply, say the whole thing. Uh, do you listen to music while you vac? Yeah. Do you listen to music while you vacuum the carpet? Yes. I should go to the gym now. Thanks for your love. Oh, <clears throat> so Mercedes, before you go, I just wanted to point out, uh, and I was 30 minute mark. Anybody who comes today could get a free course. I'm going to send you a free online course. Some of you got it, may have gotten it yesterday, but anybody who's here, you get a free online course. Just contact me on Instagram. Say, hey, Joe, I was in your class yesterday, or I was in your class today, Sunday. Where is my free online course? And I'll send you a course. It usually costs money, but I'll send you a coupon code to make it free, okay? Mercedes, I hope you heard that. So everybody who's here today gets a free online course. I want to thank you for coming. All right? Jose heard me. Okay, Mercedes. Whew. I'm glad I caught you, Mercedes. I thought you were going to the gym and you'd miss it. All right. So, Gerald, you've got to go. Starving, okay? But, Gerald, send me a message on Instagram. Thanks. Super. Got it, got it, got it. Do we have to use while he... No, you don't have to, Alex. Okay. Abhith, yes. Zimina, great. Nice. All right. Okay. So just make sure... Because I, 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 I don't know who <laughs> how to contact you here. So you guys send me messages on my Instagram, a direct message. Okay. And then I can send it back to you. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's keep going on this list. We got more words, more learning. I hope. Uh, so we're losing a couple of people. They're going to get something to eat and uh, and go to the gym. And that's fine. Let's keep going. Here's number 13. My husband never. So wait. <laughs> this is a verb. Online, of course, means male. No, no, no. Hamdi, this online lesson means it's a website and you can go and it's got tests and it's got little exercises and you can do it online. It's a course I made. Okay? All right, send send me a message, then I'll send it to you and you can check it out and it's free. It, with the coupon code, it'll be free. Okay? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you instructions. So here's our next sentence. It's a verb. And it starts with P. My husband never m mm up after himself. My husband never m mm up after himself. What word do we want there? Okay, Jose, you saw it already. Great. So Hamdi, remember I said my husband, my husband. So he, he pick. No, no. Right, you got it. Oh, Elise is the first one that says picks. Picks. Okay. All right. So remember, you got to get the right the right verb you got to get the right tense right and you want to get the right subject verb agreement so picks my husband never picks up and that's okay lots of people can forget it and that's okay that's why we're here so I can remind you because I want you guys to get better and better at English if you were already perfect you wouldn't have to be here oh hi Nerlita all right yeah, so to pick up, to pick something up, right, means to lift it up. So imagine if your husband comes home and he takes off his socks and throws them on the floor. You got to pick them up and put them in the laundry. 
lift them. Farida, hi. Nice to see you again. All right. Yeah. So my husband never picks up after himself. Okay. Here's number 14. This is the last one. Okay. All right. Are there any... Oh, this is a noun and starts with C. It's a plural noun, starts with C. Are there any m mm that you don't mind doing? Are there any m mm that you don't mind doing? Yes, Joanna. Elise. Yes, Rose. Yeah, Marna. Yes. Uh, oh, remember choir, that's a different one. Courses, that, that word fits, but it's not about chores. So we wanted the word chores. Are there any chores? Okay, good. Chores, chores, chores. Excellent, everybody. So now let's, let's, uh, let's ask about that. So, so last time I said, are there any chores that you, what chores do you hate? So some, most people said washing the dishes. How about now? So chores, different chores, such as washing or doing the laundry or cleaning the floor or washing the windows or going grocery shopping. Are there any chores that you don't mind doing, that they're okay? And the, oh, ironing. Uh, hi, Pappy. So you don't mind ironing. Okay, that's good. A lot of people don't like it. Layden doesn't mind cooking. Gongor doesn't mind any housework. Okay. Grocery shopping is fine for Joanna. Elise, I said I like them all. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Marta, washing machine does it. Yes, clever. Who? So hovering. So We'd say Hoover, to double O there, Pavlina. Washing dishes. Okay. Saki likes washing dishes. Making making the beds. I love cooking. It's not a chore for me. Yeah, cooking is, is kind of, it, it, it's creative also. And smells good. Picking up after myself. Cleaning my room. Vacuuming. Okay. Very good. Very good. I don't like doing laundry, Hamdi. You'd say, I don't like doing laundry. All right, so that's done. That's good. All right, how about we do some uh, some grammar, everybody? I don't want to sit in front of the fireplace sipping some wine. Okay, Alex. <laughs> I don't know if that, uh, it's a, uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can we say housework instead of chores? Sure, yeah. I dislike cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is, I don't know if that's a chore, but uh, okay. Let's, so I'm going to give you guys the start of a sentence and you guys <laughs> finish the sentence and then I'll tell you if your grammar is correct or not correct. I like cleaning the living room and my room too. Okay, Zimina, that's good. Yeah. Um, I think in my house, if we're all doing it together, if all of us, the kids and Gail and myself are all working together and it goes so fast and it's a little fun because we, we do, we're working, we're doing stuff together, I don't mind it. Making tea, okay. All right. So how's it? All right, here's another one. So here's the start of a sentence and I want you guys to try and finish it and I'll check your grammar, okay? Here we go. I am really into. So if you're really into something, that means you're interested in it. So I am really into hockey. I am really into watching movies. Okay. So what could you write? So it's either a noun or a something. I'm really into business. Yes, that's fine. I'm really into dancing, Joanna. Perfect. Laden into art, perfect. I'm really into learning English. Lolly, I know that, perfect. I'm really into listening to music. Poppy, good. I'm really into you, Nerlita, thank you. <laughs> All right. Mar Mariana, I'm really into learning languages, perfect. I'm really into reading poems. 
Arif, good. I'm really into visiting Canada. Zohe. I'm really into running. Pavlina, good. I'm really into shopping. That's perfect. In Ina. Farnak, I'm I'm really into painting. Well, you could say I'm really into paintings. Just I'm really into painting. Rula, I'm really into cooking. I'm really into watching match. I don't know the rest of that. I don't, is that maybe a soccer player? So you might say I'm wa really into watching soccer. I'm really into playing piano, Faraday. I'm really into learning English, Sabina, perfect. I'm really into summer, Gabriel, yes. I'm really into reading, Zimina. I'm really into learning and, well, if you say searching, you have to say searching for what? I'm really into learning and do, doing research. I'm really into climbing Mount Everest. Okay, Rose, good luck. I'm really into watching football. So you could, uh, Jacek, I'm watching football or watching football matches. I'm really into touring. I'm really into sleeping, okay? <laughs> I'm really into studying foreign languages, Alex, yes. I'm really into learning languages, Mansoor, yeah. I'm really into hiking, perfect. All right, great job there. Okay, I'm really into it, yeah. I'm really into it. All right, well, we got more. I'm really into reading books while it rains. All right. Uh, I'm really into making others happy, Farnak. I'm really into shopping, Faraday. I'm really into it, yep. I'm really into waiting for notification from your channel so that I can learn English. I'm here. Thank you very much. All right. So here, let's try another one. Here's another start of a sentence. Here we go. She has been. She has been living here for 10 years. She has been working there since January. She has been. She has been through a lot. Arif, good. I'm really into drinking beer, but not addicted. <laughs> but I'm not addicted to it. Lolly. All right. What's another one? Uh, she has been studying here since 2017. Mansur, perfect. She has been staying, staying in the morning. She's been staying in, in the morning. Papi. She has been thinking about her ex-boyfriend. Perfect. She's been working in a bank for 20 years. All right, Hamdi. She has been listening to music since she was born. She has been married for 10 years, JSEC. She's been teaching. So, where am I? Where? Ho, oh, oh, ho, everybody going so fast. Here. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Marina, she has been teaching young learners for 20 years. Perfect. Lolly, she has been learning English all day. Not the day, all day. She has been with me 10 minutes or for 10 minutes, Sabina. Oh, we jumped ahead. I'm really into learning English, Annabelle, yes. She has been my girlfriend for the past two years. Now she ditched me. Okay. All right. She has been waiting for three hours already. Well, Alex, that's good. She has been She has been in bed since six AM. She has been away from her son since his birth. Yes, that's okay. Uh, she has been singing since she was seven years old. Joanna, perfect. She has been working in this company since three years ago. Well, hmm. if you're going to say three years, so it, better to say since 2016, or she's been working with in this company for three years, Saki. She's been working all day. You don't have to say all the day. All day. While it rains or while it is raining. Both are okay, Gungor. She has been waiting for me. Waiting for me for five minutes. 
Oop, 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 where'd you go? <laughs> All right, Elise, up here. She has been so in love with him that she couldn't imagine living her life without him. Elise, perfect. She has been my friend since childhood. Jamina, yes. She has been... Two weeks. She has been in Mexico for two weeks. Gungor. She has been standing by me for ten minutes. Yeah. She's been sleeping the whole day. She's been in tennis for a long time. Faraday. She's been listening to classical music all day. Layden. She's been in. She has been. Are you in my live video? She's been. I don't know if you'd say in live, Joe. She has been watching Joe's live video since 3 p.m. She's been waiting for him for 30 minutes. You don't have to say on the date. She's been waiting for him for 30 minutes. I'm really into learning dancing. Okay. Where do we go now? Thanks, thanks, Saki. She has been singing for eight hours straight. Oh, my goodness, her voice. She's been cooking for a long time. Yes. And she has been loving me since she saw me. It is possible, but it's a little slang. We would say she has been in love with me since she saw me. Okay, let's try another one, everybody. All right. She's been sleeping for years. Okay, okay. Here's another one. She didn't finish. So she didn't finish her homework. She didn't finish cleaning her room. What could you do there? She didn't finish. I'm going to have another drink. She didn't finish anything. Okay. She has been working. You don't have to say for the. You say she has been working the whole day. Marina, she didn't finish her essay. Yes. She didn't finish her glass of beer. <laughs> Lolly, yes. She didn't finish her essay. Rula, perfect. She didn't finish the food that I made for her on our special day. All right. Papi, she didn't finish her career after trying for many years. Okay. Uh, J6, she didn't finish. She didn't finish his run. I don't know about that, because she and his run, I, she didn't finish shouting at her children. She didn't, she didn't finish her studies at school, Dilshad. She didn't finish her studies, Ina. She didn't, oh, where'd, where'd you go? Farida. She didn't finish doing the dishes, perfect. She didn't finish reading that book, Zohar, perfect. She didn't finish... The homework, yes, Jose, yep. She did not finish her work that I gave her to finish. Hamdi, perfect. She didn't finish cooking. Okay, so she didn't finish cooking maybe after her son came back. Uh, Rose, she didn't tell him the story before he went to bed. Okay, that's fine. She didn't finish what she had to do before starting the movie. Layden, perfect. She didn't finish that crazy relationship, although she wanted to. All right, Elise? She didn't finish his project. That's okay, Sabina, but since it's she, why not? She didn't finish her project. She didn't finish her mission. She didn't finish her run. Yes, Jacek? Yeah, that's what we want. Yes, her, Sabina, you got it. Okay, all right, very good. All right, let's try another one. Here we go. I paid $25 for that meal. I paid $25 for this shirt. Okay, Dilshad, so studies means your school career. Study and studying are different. So studies, she didn't finish her studies. That means she quit school. 
She did not finish her class. Yeah, that's okay. I paid $25 for the ticket. Saki, yes. I paid $25 for John, education, maybe for this class. For that course, Marina, perfect. I paid $25 for my lunch, Pavlina, perfect. I paid $25 for lasagna, yes, Arif. For that course, Rula. For my recent electric bill, Elise, that's possible. For this, Shoth. I don't know Shoth. Maybe you mean Shawl? Yeah. Uh, for a concert ticket is fine. For my son's class, Farinek, yes. I paid, okay, John, I paid $25 for a haircut. I paid $25 for my shoes. I paid $25 for, where am I? For my final exam. Yep, JSEC, Faraday. I paid $25 for the coffees. Yes, so if you say coffees, that's okay, but it's slang, because coffee is non-count, but we say it anyway. We say it in slang. I paid $25 for that bike. I paid $25 for one room at a hotel. Dilshad. I paid $25 for a glass of beer. It's too expensive, I think. Yes. Lolly, the most expensive glass of beer I ever had was $12 in Paris. <laughs> Actually, I paid twenty-five dollars for my lunch because it is expensive. Yeah, I paid twenty-five dollars for hush money. Yes, yeah. Um, I don't know about for because that means you're buying the hush money. I paid him twenty-five dollars in hush money. Ah, oh, Sudener, hi. Idiom and phrases. Well, there's lots of idioms and lots of phrases. All right. John, I paid $25 for a Christmas tree. Yes, Paris, it was on the Champs-Élysées. So I, I drank it very slowly, Lolly. <laughs> yeah, hush money. So hush money means to keep someone secret. To keep someone, don't tell, don't tell what you know. Keep it a secret. I've paid $25 to drink one glass of alcohol at this cafe. I paid $25 for, I wouldn't say upgrade, uh, for a booking upgrade or for an upgrade. For dinner, because I don't care about money. Yeah. Sounds Elysee cool. Yeah. Yeah. My one day, my, my, my one time in Paris. I paid $25 for my natural gas bill. Yeah. Hello, L. Raven. Hush money. Keep a secret. Yeah, you pay someone to keep your secret. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Let's try let's try another one. Uh, I paid twenty five dollars for a tip, I guess. I paid twenty dollars for my lunch, yes. Uh Here's another one. That was a terrible mm. That was a terrible mm. What do you think? That was a terrible movie. I paid $25 for the dinner that that for dinner and that made my wife angry. She hadn't finished cooking when her son came back. Okay? The, that was a terrible wedding, yes. That was a terrible day, Sabina, yes. That was a terrible movie, Faraday, yes. That was a terrible weekend, yes. I had a car accident, that was a terrible experience, Poppy, yes. That was a terrible way to end the trip, Joanna, perfect. That was a terrible accident on the road. That was a terrible, that was a terrible pair of shoes, Mansoor. That was a terrible dish, Rula, yes. That was a terrible fact that I have never seen. Hmm. That was a terrible fact that I have never seen before. Arif, that was a terrible mistake. So, no, you don't use the word ever, right? Because that would say that was the most terrible mistake 
I have ever made. That was a terrible scene in the film. Jacek, yeah. That was a terrible class because, not just because, Layden, because we had tests from time to time. That was a terrible night last night because my neighbors made a lot of noise. Yes, Elise. Uh, that was a terrible way of dressing. Farnack, yes. That was a terrible dinner. You don't have to say to eat. You can just say that was a terrible dinner. That was a terrible traffic jam. Yes. Experience. That was a terrible experience I had experienced yesterday. Okay? Yeah? What was terrible be done with me? Deal Shad. I don't know that one. That was a terrible... Oh, so Alex, weather is non-count, so we don't need a. Uh, that was terrible weather yesterday. That was a terrible lunch. And I ne I will never return to that restaurant. Lolly. That was a terrible restaurant. Faraday, perfect. That was a terrible day when I saw a bear in front of me. Yeah. That was a terrible blizzard, Marnia. That was a terrible date. Yes. That was a terrible fact that I have never tested. No, Hamdi, I don't know what you what you mean there. You could say that was a terrible fact, but I don't know the rest of what you're saying. Mm. John, you'd have to say that was a terrible internet connection. I'm learning new words. Uh, L. Raven, the best way to learn new words is read for fun every day. So it doesn't matter what you read, but as long as you read something that uh, you like and are interested in, you learn new words very fast. Your vocabulary gets stronger quickly. It is incorrect to use cause of. We say cause. It's slang to say cause, right? Uh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a uh, jacket because I'm cold. But when you write it, you should say because, laden. That was a terrible, that was... If you're talking about a restaurant, Zimina, so service is non-count. You'd say, that was terrible service. I will never return. That was a terrible online class. Yes, perfect. That was a terrible result. I don't know if you need, I took. That was a terrible result. That was a terrible accident. Oh, sorry. That was a terrible internet connection. Yes. Uh, can internet be a noun? Yes, internet is a noun, but if, uh, but you don't have, <laughs> we have the internet. It's all together, so you don't say a terrible internet. Okay. That was a terrible situation, Saki. Yes, that was a terrible trip because the we because the weather was ter was horrible, the weather. It, the best way to learn English is whatever is best for you. So it's different for different people. But what I have learned in my studies is that reading books is the fastest way to improve your vocabulary, not watching movies. But a lot of people hate reading. So watching movies might be the best for you. That was a terrible game. Fanatics played yesterday. Yes, that's okay. Uh, both and learn with Joe. All right. Oh, hi, Mika. No problem. Let's go to the next one. Um, all right. Watch Joe's videos. <laughs> yes, I'm going to I'm going to post another video uh, after this live lesson. All right. Actually, now that we're one hour in, and I think some new people have shown up, I want to mention this again, everybody. Um, anybody who uh, attends this live lesson, all right, so, most of you still know it, but any new people that have just arrived, you get a free uh, online course from me. Just send me a direct message on Instagram and I'll send you a link and I'll send you a coupon code to make it free and I'll send you instructions so I just want to say thank you for everybody coming to my live lessons I really appreciate you guys coming and I love helping you 
So I'm going to give you a free online course, one of my courses. It usually costs money, but I'm going to give it to you. So Saki, remember, send me a, send me a, nes uh, a message. What to text you? So you just in direct message and say, hey, Joe, I was in your live lesson today. Hi, Joe, I was in your live lesson today. Can I get your free online course? Okay, and I will send you the link. So send me a direct message on Instagram. All right, very good. Let's try, let's try, let's do a little uh, fun, fun things here, fun uh, English. On Instagram, yes, so my Instagram is English Teacher Joe. Picture is proof. <laughs> well, right. And well, sometimes people's names are different on YouTube than they are on Instagram. So if you said, say, for example, L. Raven, if your name is different, hey, Joe, I was on it. I was at your live today. My name is L. Raven. Then I remember you. But if you send something and, and you have a different name, I OK. So you don't have to send a picture. That's OK. But you can if you want. All right. Okay, let's do some uh, vocabulary. I've got a, a thing here. All right, so this is a place, and it's a very famous river in South America. You, you can text me anytime, anytime. Yes. See, I'm well, I'm not on my phone, so I won't see it. But after I see my phone, after this lesson, I'll see your your direct messages and I'll write back to you okay okay so here we go this is oh we got it Marnie I got it a famous river in South America lots of people are getting it Amazon Amazon yes the Amazon famous river and here we go here's a picture okay there's a couple of kids Paddling down the Amazon, I guess. Will you tell us a funny story today, too? Uh, boy, do I have one. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't find a new funny story like we did the other day. Have I told you guys the story about me at uh, a Christmas time? Elise, you've been to all these live lessons. Have I told you the time... I visited my parents at Christmas time, and uh, there was a snowstorm. No, Layden says no. If if nobody know, no, you haven't. Okay, all right. Well, here here's a little funny story, and this happened to me. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> are you ready? I was visiting my mom and dad and brother one Christmas. This was maybe, who, how long ago? 20, 25 years ago. And it was there was a big snowstorm. In in uh, my parents live in a small island called Prince Edward Island. It's the countryside, and there was a big snowstorm. But that's okay. Yeah, Annabelle, we were playing cards, so you do remember. Do you guys remember? We were playing cards. Ah, see, Marna, you do remember. <laughs> Some of you remember. I'll, I'll just keep this. I'll tell the story quickly. All right. We were playing cards, and we were happy. And, but then the furnace shut off. The, the heater. <laughs> the heater for the house shut off. So my dad, he called the heating company. And he asked them, hey, what's wrong with the furnace? And they said, probably there's too much snow on top of the roof. Okay? So we Dad asked if they were going to come out and clean off the roof. <laughs> and, and they said, hey, the trucks, uh, the, the highways are closed because of the storm. No one could get to your house. So that means one of us in the family has to go up on the roof and clean off the snow so oxygen can get down the chimney and start the furnace again to make the furnace heat the house again. It needs oxygen, okay? <laughs> so 
at the time, my mom was I don't, 70, I forget exactly, 70 years old, and she was in a wheelchair. So I asked her anyway, hey, mom, do you want to go up on the roof? And she, ah, you know, she's like, don't even ask me that. That's My dad did want to go up, but my dad was, he was a 70-year-old man. I can't let my dad go up on the roof when he's 70 years old. Now, I'm a big guy, you can see, but my brother's even bigger. So it has to be me. I have to go up on the roof, and I have to clean up. So it's a little dangerous to get up. I had to climb on the garbage can and then up on the roof and kind of carefully get myself up. I didn't want to slip and fall. My, I got up. My brother helped me up, and then he handed me a shovel, and I quickly got enough snow off. And as soon as I cleared off the chimney, that's where the smoke comes up, I could hear the furnace turn on again and when the t <laughs> and when the furnace turned on it you could hear oh all right so that's good we have heat no one's going to die <laughs> good sign <laughs> all right so then i started to come back down and i handed my brother the shovel and i said well wow, charlie it's very uh it's dangerous for me to climb down again so i'm just going to jump into this new snow and it'll be nice and soft and I won't get hurt, right? If you were a kid, you'd love doing that, playing and jumping in snow. <laughs> so, and the, here's the roof of the house. The snow was less than one meter below because the snow was so deep. So I thought I'd just jump in and go up to about my knees and then I could just walk, clean off my pants and go in. So he said, yeah, sure, go ahead. So I jumped, and the snow went, I was in the snow right up to my, my eyes. I went all the way down. It was super soft snow. I went all the way down to the ground. It did not stop me at all. So I'm stuck in the snow, right? Straight down in the snow. And I can't move because it's, it's heavy snow. So I'm there, and my brother is behind me on the deck of the house. And I said, Charlie, Charlie, help me. My brother's name was Charlie. And he he said, just wait. And he ran back in the house, and then he came back out with a camera. <laughs> and then he... <laughs> That's his help. He came back with a camera, and he took my picture. And then he went back in the house and turned the lights off. So I'm out in the snowbank, up to my eyes, stuck. And it took me a while. I had to kind of move, and you got to push the snow away. And I had to roll around a bit. And you don't want to pull your leg out too fast because I would lose my boot. And if I lose my boot, it's there until springtime because there was so much snow. So I rolled and rolled and rolled. <laughs> I asked my brother Annabelle about the pick, and he said he doesn't know where it was. He, I, he doesn't even know where the camera went. That was a long time ago. And then I finally went back. I got out of the snow. I'm soaking wet and freezing cold. And I go back into the house, and my brother and my mother are playing cards at the kitchen table again. And my mother didn't even notice I was gone. And she goes, oh, where were you? <laughs> yeah. So Charlie didn't even tell her. So I went over and I gave my brother a big hug. And that he was so wet because I wet. He's now wet. And then I punched him. <laughs> and that was Merry Christmas at our house. <laughs> All right. So now I think I've told... All right. Elise, have you heard that story before? Because Annabelle has heard it. Some people have heard it. And uh, Charlie has... Yeah, my brother Charlie, he's, he's a brilliant guy. He's super smart. And he, he is super funny. He's a super funny guy. Oh, you didn't hear it. Okay. That's strange. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad I told it. I'm glad... I'm glad you heard it. Okay. <laughs> Great story, though. It's not funny. You could have gotten hurt. Well, Raven, in the, the the snow slowed me down. I went right up to my eyes, but 
I, I was not hurt. I was just wet and cold. I had to strip off my clothes and have a sh warm shower. Yeah. Yeah. He's mean a little. Rula, that's the thing about brothers, I think. Yeah. As long as, you know, he, he doesn't want me to get in a car accident or anything serious, but he knew I wasn't super hurt. I was just stuck in a snowbank, and he, yeah, that's what brothers do to each other. I'm sure if you have brothers and they tease each other back and forth, same thing. How tall from the roof to the ground? So from the roof to the ground, so it wasn't that far. Maybe, maybe 10, uh, maybe three meters. Yeah, three meters from the roof to the ground. So my, f my feet didn't actually go right to the ground because I'm not three meters tall. The snow was probably two and a half meters. So I just went into my depth up to my eyes. So there's still snow underneath me. Can you tell a funny story every time? I, I will try to, I will try to uh, come up with another funny story. Did I catch a cold? Lolly, in the winter time, I think I have a cold all winter long. I, so I didn't catch a new one. I probably had one already. Okay, all right, well, okay. I'll ask you questions about the story. Everybody just heard the story. Yeah, that's good. Cut from glass window. I didn't even try to help me. I went to clean the glass. Some mom doesn't scream at us. I'm bleeding. Okay, yeah, brothers. All right. Uh, what time of year, what time of year did this story happen? Do you guys remember? I was the hero, yes. Yeah, it was Christmas time. It was in winter, yes. I was visiting at Christmas 25 years ago. All right. Okay. Um, what, were, what were my brother and my mother and I doing? What were the three of us doing before yeah, 20 or 25 years ago. So what were my mom and my brother and I, what were we doing before this started? Yeah, we were playing cards. Yeah, we were playing cards. And we were comfortable and enjoying the evening. All right. Who made, who made the phone call? Who made, the, here's the next one. I don't know if we were playing Uno, but I don't remember. Who made the phone call to the furnace company? Yes. Yes, Sabina, you're right. My dad, my father. Yeah, he called. All right. Now, so there was two reasons. There's two reasons why my mom couldn't go up on the roof. One, she was old. What was the second reason I said my mom couldn't go up on the roof? One reason is my mom was old. The second reason she was, what was the second reason why my mom couldn't go up on the roof? She was in a wheelchair. Yes, yes, she was in a wheelchair. Yeah, my mom's legs, uh, uh, she was, no, she wasn't cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up heights. No, she was old and she was in in a wheelchair. <laughs> I didn't ask her if she was afraid of heights. <laughs> yeah, so not, you don't say on a wheelchair, you say in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. Okay, all right. Okay, so here's the next one. For me, for me to get up on the roof... What did I stand on top of? For me to get up on the roof, what did I stand on top of? I said it was difficult to get up on the roof, but I had to stand on top of a... Mm. Did you hear that? Yes, Alex got it. A shovel? No, no, not a shovel. A garbage, a garbage can. Trash can, yes. All right. All right. And uh, once, 
once I got up on top of the roof, I got up on top of the roof, uh, Charlie handed me something. What did Charlie give me? What did my brother hand me? So he gave me something. What did Charlie hand me? Yes, Lolly. Yes. Yes, Raven. Yeah. Gave me a shovel. Gave me a shovel. All right. Okay, good. Good. Okay. And then I cleared away the snow from the chimney. What what could go down the chimney to turn on? What did we need to go down the chimney to turn on the furnace? What was needed to go down? I don't know if you know this detail or not. I cleared away the snow so that mm could go down the chimney. Yes, Alex. Yeah, Rose. Yes, Lolly, Elise. Yeah, oxygen had to go down. Yeah, when oxygen goes down, then a stone? No, no. We don't want to throw a stone down there. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So after after I jumped into the snow, after I jumped into the snow, what did Charlie run inside to get? What did my brother Charlie run inside to get? Yes, he went and got his camera or the family camera, right? So remember, this is before smart smartphones. It was just an old, you know, <laughs> one of those old cameras, I think, to get milk. No, he didn't go get milk. <laughs> he went inside to get ca get a camera. All right, okay. And here's here's uh, another one. Why didn't I pull my feet out quickly? All right. Why why didn't I pull why didn't I pull my feet out quickly? Yeah. And uh we put we do put salt on the road. No, I don't have the photo. All right. I didn't pull my feet out quickly because it was heavy stuck close I didn't want to lose my boot the snow I, yeah there we go Joanna I was gonna if I went out too quickly I might lose my boot all right all right and here's the last question last question when I went inside when I went back inside the house and I saw my mom and, and my brother what two things did I do to Charlie? I did two things. What two things did I do to my brother? Anybody remember those two things? Mm -hmm. One is give him a big hug. I hugged him. And the other one was I punched him. <laughs> yes, yeah. I hugged him and then I punched him. No, I didn't kick him. Yeah. I gave him a hug and a punch. Yes. <laughs> he still remembers that story, but we, we never found the picture. I don't know whatever happened to that picture. Maybe it was never even developed. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any other questions about that story before we... We'll do a, do a, a, a few... Uh, do a few vocabulary before we're done. Any other questions about that? It was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Oh, what a pity.
Yeah, yeah. Well, I think the picture might have been just the back of my head. I don't know if I had a hat on or no hat. I'm not sure. Okay. After didn't you tell your? Yes, I t I certainly told her afterwards. Yeah, I told my mom afterwards because she was wondering why I was walking in the house all wet, and I was uh, attacking my brother. So I I told her that I am the good one and he is the bad one. Yeah. How long the winter lasts there? Um, it's Well, the winter just lasts three months on the calendar, but we have cold weather and snow. It could be for, uh, it could be for five months, right? We, the, the snow, when I was, when I was young, it was at least five months. We'd have snow in, in, uh, late November, November, December, January, February, March, into April. So we could have snow for six months. My brother is older. Yeah. So your brother became punished? <laughs> no, no. We, at the time, we were like 25, 25 year old men. So there was mom, mom didn't punish us, <laughs> but she understood why. Yeah, five months. Yeah, it can. It can. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, with climate change, we don't have snow at Christmas. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll have a lot of snow January, February, March. Three months will be a lot of snow. Yes. Yes, there's a lot of snow here. Yeah, it was a good memory. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, I wasn't really angry at my brother. It, it was funny. It's a funny story, and I really appreciate it. But that's how quick, he's quick thinking, and it was funny. All right. Oh, Fairnock has to go. Okay, bye-bye. Here, I got another. Let's do a couple more, and then I'll have to go soon. Here's another word, everybody. Raven's got to go. All right. All right, this is a famous city, a famous city in Saudi Arabia, and it's a holy city. All right, who can think of this one? It's a famous city in Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia and the number one holiest city. There we go. So the number one city is Mecca, yeah. Uh, uh, no, not Dubai. So here you go. There's a picture of Mecca. Yes. So that's the holy city in Okay, okay, okay. Here's another one. This is a place and it starts with M also. It is a planet, and it's called the Red Planet. It is near Earth. Do you know the name of this planet? It's near Earth, and it's called the Red Planet. Yeah, yeah, lots of people getting it. Mars. Mars. Yeah, here you go. Here's a picture of... The Explorer picture, you can see a little bit of the Explorer craft and the red, the red dirt. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Here we go. Here's another one. This is a famous, it, this is, it's three words. It's E-S-B. Those are the initials, ESB. This is a very famous building in New York City. This building has been in many movies. And the initials are ESB. Do you know it? Some people might know it. Some people, you may have seen it in movies. It's been in lots of movies. Yeah, Elise has got it. Elise has got it. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Nimrala. <laughs> yes, Pavlina, wonderful. Arif, wonderful. Oh, Papi's got to go. Okay, Papi. 
Remember to send me a message. Yes, the Empire State Building. All right. So there you go. Oh, can you see it? Kind of in the middle there. That's the Empire State Building. Yes, yes, Sabina, you're right. Okay, okay. Uh, now this one, all right, this one's going to be hard. You got to know uh, maybe some movie history. I don't know if you're going to know. This is a person, is a famous movie director from a long time ago. He's not alive anymore. He, he was a big guy. His initials are A.H., A.H., and he directed the famous movie Psycho. Right? Very long time ago. Psycho. Does anybody know a famous director? His name starts with A. His last name starts with H. Oh, no. This is a harder one because it, it, if you kind of know movie history, maybe no. Another, oh, Annabelle, yeah, that's the right, that's the right first name, Alfred, Alfred, did anybody know his last name, Alfred, there we go, Lolly, oh, you did it together, <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock, yes, here's a picture of the guy, Alfred Hitchcock, yes, yeah, so he was a famous movie director, a long time ago. Okay, okay. Here's another one. Here's a famous place. And this is, uh, it's, it's four words, but the first word starts with G. And it's a very, very long wall. And it's in Asia. Hey, French fries. This is a long wall, and it's in Asia. Does anybody know? It starts with G. It's four words. My, The Chinese wall, yes, yeah. We don't usually just call it the Chinese wall. No, not a gate. The Great Wall of China, yeah. The Murai de Chain, right? I think Molly's got it in French. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Great Wall of China. So here you go. Here's a picture. You can see the Great Wall of China. Yes. It's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, my wife and I, we, we visited that a long time ago, way back when we were first in Asia. Wow. It is so big. Okay. All right. Here's one more. Okay. This is in French. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this is a, uh, a, a toy, and it starts with B, and many girls, many young girls have had this toy a little doll, a famous doll that starts with B. Anybody know this doll? Yeah, there we go. Barbie, 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 Barbie. Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah, yeah, Annabelle, you're right for the last one. So here we go. Here's a picture of Barbie. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay. So <laughs> there we are. Uh, we're at an hour and a half, and I, I think I have to get going now, everybody, because uh, people are getting up, and they want their breakfast, and I got to help out. Okay? So I really appreciate everybody coming. I had a really great time. Uh, I'm hoping that I can come back and do another live lesson tomorrow, but I have to see my schedule. 
as always, if I can do a live lesson, I'll put uh, an announcement on Instagram. Oh, it was just a dream. Yes. Yeah. The time here now is 1030. 1030. We've been doing this for an hour and a half. And uh, rest. yes, mentor, send me a message on Instagram, everybody. Yeah, Nirmala, a little late. So remember, whenever I post something, I put the announcement on Instagram and I'll put a timer on Instagram so you can see when it starts. And you can click a little button on the timer and it'll send you a reminder. All right. See you. Thank you, Sabina. Send me a message, Elise. All right. Okay. Okay. Breakfast, and thank you so much. Thank you, Rose. All right. Nice. I enjoyed it too. Lolly, I had a good time too. Long live Joe. Yes. Thanks for your lesson. Thanks for showing up, you guys. I really appreciated it. And I had a good time. And hopefully uh, we can come back tomorrow and do it some more. All right. So tomorrow, uh, because I work in the morning, the lesson will probably be 1.30 again, my time. So you guys know how... <laughs> My house stays the same and your house stays the same, so you know how many hours difference that is. So instead of 9 o'clock, it'll be four and a half hours later. Okay. Yeah, you guys enjoy your evenings, right? I'll hide your families and everything, and I'll see you next time. All right. Wonderful. Bye-bye.